Hi everyone, welcome to video 8 of 10. Yay, we're getting there. Two more to go. In fact, there's a lot more to go, but there's two more to go from my mega box opening. So let's get on. And I'm trying something a little bit different on this video. I got myself a video booth and some lights. So I'm gonna try some things out. Let's see how it goes. Today's video is the Wii Airsoft EU Series G18 Gen 3. Now the G stands for Glock because of trades and copyrights we aren't allowed to use the word Glock. But for all intents and purposes this is a Glock 18 and in Airsoft terms it's a Gen 3. It is pouring down with rain outside so if you hear anything strange it's probably the rain. But before we get on with the review, and before anyone who watches my videos leaves a comment, yes, I do already have a Glock 18C, and it's this one here. Now this is a KWC ASG branded Glock 18C. There's no markings on it whatsoever, apart from a fake serial number at the bottom here and the ASG branding and 6mm BB on the side. Within three uses this defaults now to full auto. You cannot take it off full auto. So I got thinking, I said okay the reason I bought this is to use it with my carbine conversion kit. So I went out and I bought a bigger magazine 50 rounds. It doesn't matter what you select back here. If you select it to semi-auto, it still fires full auto. I've taken a look on the inside and it's something to do with the worn sear. Uh, I've taken a look to see what needs to be done to correct it. And to be quite honest, it's not the best branding. It's quite a light Glock. So I thought I'd get the Wii instead. So this one will always be married to this rather large magazine and it will be installed permanently inside my carbine conversion kit. So um, that's why I bought this. Uh, in case any of you are wondering the gold uh, something I painted on. Well apart from that you will notice that this we is almost identical looking to this ASG branded Glock. So let's take a look at it. So the box is a standard Wii Europe box um, in that it is just plain card with a sticker over the front indicating what's actually inside it. Uh, G series on the front basically it's a Glock gas blowback. Auto listed here to show that it can be selected to full auto. Again a typical Wii instruction manual. Nice diagram at the front. Naming of parts. Quite nice. I've got takedown instructions. And it also has part listing, as in G numbers, but there's no actual listing to tell you what they are. Which doesn't matter because as you know, uh, the Wii uh, instruction manual, if it did have a listing it would be in Chinese. So there we go, a pretty standard manual. Standard Wii interior packaging in the box, which is this mulch pressed and moulded cardboard basically. Very good for recycling in the environment. Very boring otherwise. I'll get rid of that. As with all of my airsoft purchases for my collection, I buy a spare magazine. Nothing to write home about. It's a standard Glock magazine. I believe the same magazine can be used in the Glock 17. Green gas goes in here.
valve at the top. The magazines are loaded by pulling down the spring, holding it back, it won't lock in place and then dropping the BBs into this slot here which is slightly wider than the rest of this. They go in quite nicely and you can get 24 double stacked. The Wii G18C. So it has markings on it. It has an 18C up here. It also has the word tactical written here. 9 times 19 stamped in it. It has a fake serial number. But this also acts as the safety. You push it towards the trigger guard and it acts as a safety. Push it away from the trigger guard and the safety is off. We also have a stamp here with WE in it. Uh, unfortunately, my new uh, video tent, my right hand uh, diffuse light has gone. I don't know whether it's a fuse in the plug or the bulb. Isn't that typical though? Uh, we all struggle on. On this side, you have Made in Taiwan, We Tactical Co. Limited, stamped here. We have some weird Chinese markings just here. I don't know what they are. We have a wet 516B stamped in the slide. And we have the same number with the same Chinese marks. And that's followed by another little wee stamp across the slide. Down here at the bottom of the grip, it's stamped Wee Blowback System with the same serial number that's on the slide and that's on the outer barrel. Nice little touch, I suppose. It's very nice to hold. The mouldings here for your thumb, both sides, it's ambidextrous. And the finger separation moulds on the grip are very nice. It's got a nice weight to it. This is empty magazine, not the full magazine. It has gas in it, and the Glock is empty. Nice kick. Push this down, the fire mode select, and we're on full auto. The indicator is, of course, a single dot for semi and two dots for full auto. This is one of the Wii pistols that actually has a polymer lower frame and not metal. But that is probably because the Glock does. Metal slide at the top and metal outer barrel and of course inner barrel. So we'll take a look at that. So the takedown procedure for this is to put the fire mode select in neutral which is basically 
straight along the slide Then you cock it back, pull these down and push it forward and the whole lot just comes straight off. Uh, the inner workings are of course metal and they're in a subframe so it can all be stripped down. This part can be separated and pulled out. There's a pin here, you knock the pin out, there's a screw at the back and the whole mechanism lifts out. Mag releases on this side uh, for this one. I am not aware if you can swap them over. Just push and the magazine drops out very nicely. The trigger has one of these uh, safety devices built into it. But if you're trying to pull the trigger without your finger completely over it, then it won't allow you. And that's what this middle part is for. It's just the trigger safety. So let's look at the slide, it's a Gen 3 as I've said, uh, you have your recoil spring, take that out, now what's quite nice is that they've got a circlip mechanism at the front here which keeps the spring on the rod. So it's not going to go flying off anywhere. So there's a, it's a black in a barrel, as you can see. It has a hopper. The hop-up wheel is here. And this is the outer barrel with the cooling slits in it to make it all look nice and you can see the slide has cutouts here and indentations on this part here. So the sights are non-adjustable, they're just what I call the slab sights at the back with a cutout and the front sight is just a peg but they have been painted with a rectangle and a dot so you can line them up. The green plastic on the nozzle again. There is a spacer on the front of this slide. It can only go back in one way so if it does come out do not worry you cannot put it in incorrectly but you can forget to put it in. So reassembly is of course just the reverse of disassembly. You will notice that this barrel is sprayed black. It isn't a black black all throughout so it will scratch up but uh, as I've said on this one I painted it gold so if I use these as a pair, I'll probably be spraying this gold anyway. But I digress, let's get back to the reassembly. Inner barrel slides into the outer barrel. They both slide, drops down. And then making sure that this open end of the circlip faces downwards towards the barrel. And press it, slide the rod through the hole and put it in place. Then you just slide it back in where it's supposed to go. So this is the Wii G18 gas blowback. It's 
length is 202 millimeters. The magazine capacity is 24. 6 millimeter BB. It can fire in both semi and full auto modes. And it has a muzzle velocity of approximately 300 feet per second. Right, and just as I finish the video, I get my diffuse lighting working. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, there it is. We G18C. So thanks for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you on video number nine. Cheers.